Oh, helping a buddy take a C60 to the scrapyard. Old grain truck, the bed's off of it. Motor's demolished, so we're gonna load it on my gooseneck and my truck, take it to the scrapyard. I don't know who lets this guy drive a payloader, but they shouldn't. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't have brakes either. We might be squatting it, but we ain't hanging over. That's Travis. Yeah. It's on there though. We got her all chained and strapped down. I like to run two chains and a strap for backup. We're gonna head to the scrap here. I'll let you know what it weighs if it's legal. <laughs> Sorry about the wind, but this is what we went to pick up after we dropped the uh, other truck off at the scrapyard. We're squatting it a little. Last truck we weighed almost 21,000 pounds with it on there. I don't know what this one weighs. That thing was heavy. Got like 40 mile an hour winds. Uh, but she did it. Alright, so it was late yesterday, so I didn't get you any video loading this. This is what I bought uh, off my buddy's dad, the buddy I was helping yesterday, Travis Hollen. That C50 into the scrapyard and then the C60 home. Uh, driving around all day yesterday. They had this, so I went and bought it. Hopefully it'll fit on the 560. It's a little bit smaller than what I wanted, but uh, got the right deal on it. So hopefully someday I'll mount this on the 560. Probably won't be anytime soon. Uh, gonna try to get the Bobcat going. Then I'll have a loader there. I bought that same truck off of him <laughs> so hauled that home last night truck had a long day of hauling did pretty good so I guess the rest of this video will probably be messing with the bobcat hopefully I can get it going I don't know I'm gonna check out a few things put a spark tester on it see if I got spark I don't think I do then tear into that Oh, I think I'm gonna need a little more to this video and the cows need to round bale of hay. So, uh, we're giving the feedlot cattle a round bale of hay today, not the brood cows. Good looking animals. That one's ready to go to butcher. Probably past ready. That one looks like he could go. There's a few in here ready to go. And we got dates booked for them here in the next couple weeks. That one's getting pretty close. Alright, so get this in the feeder. And before anybody comments, yes, I know, we need a new round bale feeder. bucket on this tractor. It gets the job done though. Alright. Cows have a round bale. Yeah, it's a little bit muddy, but wherever we put that, it's going to be muddy. They got plenty of ground to go dry off on. But if we put a feeder there and they're all just standing there, it's going to be muddy no matter where it's at out here. But you can see the rest of the tent dry. They don't have to stand in the mud for a short time. Okay, so I pulled the spark plugs out of the bobcat. I cleaned them up. They were pretty uh, covered in soot and corroded and nasty. 
and I think it fired. It cranks and then goes puh, 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 and that's all I get. But firing is better than we were doing. So I'm gonna give it a shot of starting fluid again. The fuel pump might be bad. I know I have fuel in it. I just put more fuel in it and the filter has no fuel in it. There's a little filter in there. It had fuel in it at one point. I drained it and I don't know if it just needs reprimed or what, but it's not working now. So just give it a nice big shot. Then we come over here, crank the key. It did a little less that time, but did you hear it go boom boom? Try cranking the throttle up a little, I guess. It's not like it's gonna take off. It doesn't have, and blow up. It doesn't have fuel, other than the starting fluid. It just does like one, boom, every time don't know gonna have to look into it some more I guess so I'll let you know if I figure anything else out all right well if you remember in the beginning of this video a few days ago uh, I was in a short sleeve shirt and it was, I don't remember, almost 70 degrees or something. And now we have over an inch of snow on the ground. And then in three days, It's supposed to be 50, and then by the end of next week, we're back up in the 70s. So, I didn't do much more with the Bobcat after uh, what I showed you. I just got it to fire a few more times. I couldn't get it running though. So that'll have to be another video because I'm not going to go work on it in the snow and freezing temperatures. But I do got to feed the cows. So I'll show you the cows. Alright, so here comes all the cows. Some of them got up here sooner. Here's Dingleberry. He's always in the lead. Good looking animal. So I'm gonna go get an bale and put in the corral over there. You guys have seen that before, so. Probably won't show you that, but next I'll probably show you the way tickets from the scrap yard with that one drain truck without the bed or hoist on it. Just give you guys an idea of what we were hauling. So I'll talk to you after I get done feeding. I did just want to add in that uh, that second truck we were hauling, the service body C60. That one did not go to the scrap yard. That's going to be my buddy's service truck. I was just helping him pick it up. But the first one is the one that went to the scrap yard. So once I stop here, I'll show you that way ticket. All right, so we'll end off the video here. Uh, we weighed almost 21,000 pounds uh, rolling across the scale 
14,000 pounds empty. That was just my truck and trailer. So 6,660 pounds. 3.32 tons of weight was that truck without the bed or the hoist on it and some other parts robbed off of it and scrap was $200 a ton so if you guys were wondering what a 79c50 weighs without uh, a bed on it that's it so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video a little bit different some off the farm stuff and on the farm stuff we'll get back to the bobcat sometime so hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and as always have a good one